We are off on another adventure. But first we gotta drop the dog off. Yep. Oh, the dog. How are the cats? Good. Very cute ones. Yeah, there was one in the bed. What color was it? It was black. Did you like the black twisted. one, Christian? No, that's twisted. Well, I'm just kind of hanging out. Okay, come on, arms. Hey Bells, what do you think this is from? What do you think it is? I think it's from a turtle. Yep, it's a snapping turtle. Christian doesn't want to see the snakes. I'm going to go back down. Okay. What do you think this is? Rose-breasted cross beak. Do you know what this is, Isabella? Nope, it's snake skin. What is it? What's it from? You know what that one is? That one's a groundhog. This one. Does it feel good? That one is a raccoon, and then this one is super soft. Is it a squirrel? Oh, wow. No, it is a, I forget what it is. Oh, it's a mink. Mm. So it's our blanket. <laughs> you see its little head back there? Yeah. Hello, Snakey. That's a corn snake. Corn snake. Yeah. Can I? That's just that goes through. That's the chipmunk's whole thing. See, yeah, turtle. It's back there. Paul comes right after. So it could be asleep. First trail of the adventure is the Great Woodland Adventure, which is right by the parking lot and is fairly short. If I remember correctly from our research, it's like half a mile, I think. So let's check it out. This trail is for the young and young at heart. You are young. Hang on. So we have... My name is Grady the Groundhog, and I will be your guide. Today we'll meet the woodland animals of Chimney Rock Park. Follow along with me. So I write down all of our discoveries in my journal. The trail will lead us to discovery stations where we'll learn about each of our new friends. Keep your eyes open for animals along the trail. That's, not your that's what it says. That's no, that's not my name, but that's a groundhog's name. As you can see, this trail has some steps, but um, if you're coming to Chimney Rock, you're probably willing to do steps if you're gonna hike up to the chimney and not just take the elevator, so. Sorry, I just walked into a spider web. Mm. Here's a spot. 
Who says rodents aren't cute? Did you know that chipmunks are only the size of a jelly bean when they're born? These fun-loving animals spend much of their day collecting and storing seeds. Chipmunks have cheek pouches large enough to carry a tablespoon full of seeds. That would be like you putting a whole grapefruit in your mouth. Here's something. Do you think your home, does your mom think your room's dirty? What if your home was a hole in the ground and you had to keep it clean? Chipmunks live in underground burrows to stay safe and warm. See what it's like to crawl beneath the ground. I'm a dirty little groundhog. Chipmunk. It's talking about chipmunks. Chipmunk. I'm a chipmunk. For the moment. For the moment. Bella's room is clean for the moment. Okay, chipmunk leader. I just see a bridge. Okay, we get when we get up there. Would you like flies with that? Imagine you're a spider on the hunt for a meal. Suddenly a fly buzzes into your web and you quickly rush over to bite it with your fangs. The injected venom paralyzes your prey and turns it inside turns its insides into a liquid so you can suck it up like a milkshake. Mm -hmm. Only the black widow and brown recluse are harmful to people. Nice. That was a pretty good jump. It's like at the zoo, yeah. right? reasons. Some male spiders actually play webs like a guitar to charm the females. Look at the Argopes web above you. It's ten times, that one, ten times life size, which is used to catch prey. Tiny little steps. There's not much uh, distance between the steps. Make sure you're watching the ground, Bells. No, I was more, you don't want to fall like in Georgia. And there's a spider web. How did I walk through the spider web and you guys didn't? Just lucky, I guess. How neat would it be to breathe through your skin? How about being able to regenerate, grow back, a finger, arm, or even a leg? Salamanders are amazing amphibians that are usually found hiding in moist or wet places. There are over 50 different salamanders in the Carolinas alone. Some as small as a paperclip and others larger than your school desk. So... Can we find some of the fake salamanders in here? I mean, there might even be some real ones, but they'll be moving around. I see. Chipmunk Bella has claws. Mm, fish don't. Go back there. Go back there. That's the next thing. Hey, 
Yeah, not real ones. You want to see real turtles, you just got to come to our neighborhood. Yeah. I'm inside and see the world through a turtle's eyes. Turtle shells make great homes and keep them safe from hungry animals. So, can you climb inside? Inside, yes. Well, under it. Can you fit or no? And then turn around because its head would come out up here, right? No? Yeah. Okay. Turtles are primitive reptiles that once roamed the earth with dinosaurs. Some turtles can live over 100 years. Shells, which are part of their skeleton, protect them from predators such as raccoons and skunks. That doesn't work. A quick bite with their horny beaks will. Look carefully as you walk our trails because turtles roam these woods. It's not those hills that killed my legs though. It was the running Nelson run the day before a half marathon. Gnats and mosquitoes be warned. Frogs and toads are on the prowl. These hungry animals eat many bugs that can pass on diseases to humans. Frogs and toads are great indicators of a healthy environment. If they start to disappear or have extra legs, we know that an ecosystem is polluted. 28 species of frogs are found in the Carolinas. Next time you come, ac come across our bug-eating friends, be sure to tell them thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Some frogs live in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They're very loud, especially after it rains. Oh, yeah. And I live near water. Toads do not. Mm -hmm. It's just like turtles live near water. Tortoises do not. Chameleons don't live around here. We get itty bitty little lizards around here for the most part. Lizard! I thought that was a lizard! I mean, maybe. That was alive! I mean, when you see a lizard at Disney, you're like, can I go touch the lizard? And the answer is no. Well, if there's two options, that means there's an animal thing, right? Yeah, two kinds of tree squirrels in the forest. Gray squirrels are out during the day, flying squirrels at night. Gray squirrels run through the treetops, jumping from limb to limb, while flying squirrels sail from trees like a paper, air, paper airplanes. That's a lot of activity just to gather and hide a bunch of nuts, many of which are left to grow and become the forest of tomorrow. Owls hunt at night, feeding on small animals, birds, and even skunks. Special feathers that allow silent flight. Owls swoop down and kill their prey with sharp talons. Then they swallow their food whole or in large chunks that are torn apart by strong beak. After they digest the nutritious material, owls regurgitate, that means uh, throw up, feathers, fur, and bones in complete pellets. Don't try this at the dinner table. Birds work hard to build nests so they can lay eggs and raise their young until they're ready to fledge, leave the nest. Have you ever thought about what it takes to create a nest that can withstand weather and accommodate both parents and young? It's a big job. Want to give it a try? We've already set the base for you. Stack the sticks, then use smaller material to fill the gaps. The base here is as wide as a real bald eagle's nest could be. Have fun. Interesting. Yeah. Careful. The next animal one is going to be about bears. Ooh. Bears don't really eat porridge. They mostly eat berries, nuts, grasses, carrion, which is dead animals, and insect larvae. 
They're typically shy and avoid contact with people unless surprised or lured into your campsite by trash or food. These are very intelligent, curious animals, can easily outrun a human, so don't challenge one to a foot race. The most important thing for you to remember is to never get between a mama and her cubs. For 200 years ago, before Chimney Rock State Park existed, there were many more animals roaming these woods. Large grazing animals like bison and elk roamed this area, leaving trails, some of which are still used today. Predators such as the mountain lion and- Stand there. Would you like to use some of the water and the brushes in there to make your own pictograph, write your own cave drawing on the wall right there? Mm. Go ahead, pick up a paintbrush. You can do it, Isabella, go ahead. Pick up a paintbrush and, brush and paint. There's another one on the other side. Yeah. It's just water. Of course, Christian does Mickey. Y'all done? Really good one. Cool. The Great Woodland Adventure. Did you learn stuff? Yeah. Can Can you guys just like look at the mountains over there? Yeah. Now we're going to do the Four Seasons Trail, which hooks up with the. Hickory Nut Falls Trail, I think, so we can go see a water fall. I got love this trail. I got the big rock. Oh, rock. oh wait, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, climb up the rock steps. Be careful. Hey, Christian, look. Clay. And we were talking about that yesterday. Keep walking. That's what the reddish stuff is. It's clay. Far. I know we're not very far into this trail yet, but this trail and the other trail have mostly been in the shade. And, ooh, that was a giant step, which is why Christian avoided it. Um, it's nice and shaded. So while it is, you know, 90 degrees outside, it's not the worst right now. But some of these steps are very sizable. Yeah. Uh. Hey, woodpeckers live around here. Uh. That's what the sign says. They also live in our neighborhood and you can hear them. Oh. Okay. We have made it to a gigundous rock. That'd be very, very bad. No way, I think that rock would work. But like, there's some cool benches up here. Maybe it would just be repost. Look at that. That's some cool benches. Like, look, can I, can I just, perspective wise, you guys sitting on a bench, rock. I am as far zoomed out as possible. <laughs> Up the stairs. And I can see the sign that says Hickory Nut Falls Trail and Top Parking Lot. Anybody counting the stairs? Once you get to the uh, Hickory Knot Falls Trail, there will be a lot more people than if you take the Four Seasons Trail. Lots more people want to see the waterfall. That and the Four Seasons Trail is quite scary. It is scary, not scary. If you can do the stairs, which the kids did, um, when we got to the top of those stairs, 
the last stairs. It was a, uh, it said it was a 400 foot elevation gain to go up that trail. Coming up the last of the stairs, the rocky stairs to see the waterfall. Scooch over, Bells. Give it just a second. Is it cold? Okay, we have seen Hickory Nut Falls and it was very pretty and very cold, right guys? Oh, excuse me. And now we're going to head back down this trail at least because, well, you kind of have to to get anywhere. Well, it wasn't technically freezing because it wasn't frozen. A lot of downhill. Well, yeah. Everything to get to the waterfall was uphill. And now everything is downhill. Which is harder. Your mind thinks uphill but it's harder to go downhill to control your body from going too fast. Okay, we have made it back to the stairs that are the start or end of the Four Seasons Trail. Howard and the kids went to go take the bus down to the parking lot and I am going to take the trail that we took up down and I will check in periodically. There are some people not too far ahead of me and some people not too far behind me, but it is nice and quiet in here on this trail. There's a lot less people and it's nice to be going downhill. However, you got to watch where you step. I've made it back to the giant rock. Can you, can we just appreciate like, it's a really big rock. Like, hang on really, really big rock. Still walking, still trying to get it in frame. Almost, almost. Giant rock. Where's your bus ride down? Windy. Windy? Okay, did you have fun today? Are you looking forward to tomorrow where we do some more hiking? Yeah. Cool. Arrived at Hickory Nuts. Hickory Nut, not Hickory Nuts. Hickory, never mind. Hickory Nut Ball Campground. And this is, we got some beds and a door and maybe some lights and we basically the only reason we got this instead of camping in a tent was because it has been crazy rainy in the carolinas lately and when it has rained lately it has been torrential and we did not want to tent camp in that so what do you think christian it's literally just to be out of the the outside your hamburgers because we got here we got situated a little after five we decided to just do burgers on the propane stove and we will do stuff with a real campfire tomorrow when we have more time right cool well yours is not close enough to the flame to get roasted Bee. It's a bee. How's your s'more, Isabella? 
melty. Is it good? Okay, Bella and I are off to explore and go throw away some garbage. Um, so far the campground, it's nice and it's cooled down a little bit since the sun started to go down. Um, we enjoyed our dinner. We enjoyed our s'mores. Um, I think my only complaint is that well, there are two tiny cabins here and the one we got is not exactly as it was advertised on the website. So we were supposed to get, have air conditioning and in the, um, the pictures there was like a TV, which neither of those things exist in our site. We have um, a fan, no TV. And when we got here, they had me been messing with the power at the sites around ours. So it was not turned on. So we had to come have them come out and do that. And then um, there was also some, what Isabella? Snacks. Oh yes, they are making all kinds of fun stuff for pretend. Yep, and I want oh, a bug mom. literally just flew in my eyeball. Um, but you know, overall, it's not too bad. We will end up having to have both kids sleep on the floor because the top bunk is way, way, way higher than anticipated. There's no way to get up, and they would they would end up getting hurt. And um, there's also a bit of a problem in, I guess nobody's stayed in it in a while, or nobody's stayed at the top bunk, or nobody's really paid attention, but there's a bunch of, like, dead bugs up on the top bunk, and so I don't want anybody up there for that either. Okay, we found the dumpster. We found an easier way to get to the river where it's moving a lot faster down here. It's very pretty. I like water. Um, our campsite is not that close to the river, but you can still hear the river from our campsite, which is pretty cool. I'm going to wrap this part of the video up right now, because my phone is literally about to die. But I will, we'll do a wrap up up at the campsite. Did you have fun today? Yeah. Did you have I, fun hiking? Yeah, I had fun making dessert there too. Okay. Christian, it's the moth, it's fine. Did you have fun hiking today? Yeah, it's definitely a moth. Yeah. Um, what, besides Ooh. having to go up a whole, it's a moth. Sure. Besides having to go up a whole bunch of steps, did you like the trails we did? You ready for some more trails tomorrow? Yes. Yeah. Was your dinner good? You Alright, people of YouTube, comment in the comment section. How big do you think a Minecraft command block would be in real life? Did you have a good day? Yeah. I really like that all of the uh, the trails that we did uh, going up to the uh, waterfall were all relatively shaded, so that, that was really nice. nice. That will not be the case tomorrow. No, that won't <laughs> it's be pure sunlight. That's going to be fun, but we're going to do it relatively early, so we'll try and get out there. Right before. when the park out. Well, we're going to get up and eat breakfast and then head yeah. out. What are but, we having for breakfast tomorrow, kids? Yeah, what are we having for breakfast? I don't. You don't remember? I bought stuff for it. A box of it? Pancakes. Yeah, we're going to make some pancakes. Um, I was going to say. Is that being in full sunlight uh, when we do the, the probably, trek up to Junior? I don't Island? remember. Can I blow the candle out? When we go inside, you can blow the candle out. Let's keep bugs away. Okay, well, it's been a good day. It's been a long day. Well, not really. I mean, we started driving at like 9 20 because we had to drop the dog off but i got up to run as always and we were outside doing naturey stuff yep. we're gonna hang out outside for a little bit longer and then try and get the kids to sleep and then try and us to sleep but we will see you in the morning thank you for watching oh I don't oh know. Okay. You, on the command. Answer in the comments. Thank you, YouTube. Good night.